people on the forum uh, would like to know more about TED uh, because you have you have an amazing impact uh, on the forum. Uh, specifically, uh, you have you have a big, uh, a large presence uh, on on Tom's site on the internet. Um, I would like I would like to know uh, you know your impressions on Tom and Tom's uh, toe, but also uh, yourself. Um, some of uh, maybe a little uh, history. You know, how did you uh, end up? Uh, Making the decision to uh, to uh, spend time on uh, on the, on this website, um, you know, maybe some. Uh, it's it's hard to summarize. Uh, I think we'd like to know some about about that. You're an engineer. Yeah, I'm an engineer. I went to the University of Florida, and from there I went to Clemson University in South Carolina. I was in a fellowship. I didn't. I didn't completely finish my doctorate there. I had to come back and file my my dissertation later. And when I was getting out, there were literally three times that uh, NASA had laid off. So there were two, three hundred engineers, some with a few, you know, a few years' work history already for every applicant, for every position. It was. So I went back to work for my father because he. Is, he had always wanted to have me complete an engineering degree. We were um, just a heating and air conditioning contractor. Uh, he did more than that. I mean, he, he did industrial burners and work. Yeah, so there's, um, yeah, there's a couple of people like large that. Large plants that, you might do something. Even if that would have big furnaces, big boilers. Um, large scale systems. Pardon me? Large scale systems. Yeah. And when I came back, when I came there to work, um, I gradually worked into doing sort of design build work for, for again, larger companies. Uh, we had for like 20 years we had Anheuser-Busch, uh, General Foods, their, one of their plants there, uh, warehouse, and, and I don't know what all they did there, largely a warehouse. And then there was um, uh, Painter's Poultry, which is big in Florida, um, American Heritage Life Insurance Company. Yes. And then early in the 90s, all of that stopped within a period of three months. All of those companies, uh, they basically said we're, we have been told not to spend any money on major repairs unless, you know, we have to do it. And we're not going to do any more construction projects or anything like that for the foreseeable future. So we ended up eventually closing the company because that was half of our volume. And apparently other things were going on, although I don't know exactly what economically was going on then. But uh, our residential customers cut back largely. So I ended up working for a naval architect eventually, and uh, they were into building gambling boats, and that kept up until uh, the, the ups and downs of that industry went down, and they lost that, that business. Uh, and about that same time, my parents were becoming ill. Uh, my father had a neurological condition, uh, progressive supernuclear palsy. And he ended up in bed for almost five years. And then my mother, after my father died, had Alzheimer's again about four years, and I took care of them. And during that time, I 
finally put together a website that I put up, which is at activemysticism.com. And uh, right after I did that, I ran into Tom's website. And I sent him an email and so forth, and invited him to look at my site. And uh, I ordered a book, and he says that uh, he had a lot of good to say about my site. I mean, it was a different direction entirely from his, that he came from, because I didn't spend all of the time out of body and in MP, 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 MR, etc. And uh, I, I was more a matter of just information coming into my mind. Um, but it's, it's interesting, so through a life of, uh, of uh, professional you know, engineering pursuit, uh, you obviously have a very methodical, uh, process-oriented, uh, or maybe that's, you know, methodical mind, uh, but, but yet uh, you were drawn to, uh, were you... Were you uh, I, I, I was drawn to that kind of thing also. I remember really back into... Uh, into when I was a young child, and like Tom, I, I remember flying around out of body, but not later on. But I did start, you know, reading about these various things and doing meditation and you know, trying to learn something about it. But it was only when I was in my 20s say, that I finally decided, well, I, I guess I'll have to consider myself to be a mystic. And, uh, I, I, well, I've studied all sorts of things there on the website. There were a lot of things that entered into it, and I see it's all related. You know, it's all coming from the basic fact that it's we have this digital consciousness system. Um, when I when I read Tom's books, I rewrote my the last part of my site. Uh, it's not well done. I just never got it fixed properly, but it's on my website. And somewhere in there, Tom started asking me to, you know, spend some time on his board. And uh, eventually asked me to, if I would kind of run it, you know, answer the questions, that sort of thing. Uh, for the longest time, I wasn't formally marked as being the administrator. Uh, I finally, I, I had all of the authority. I, he had me down as a founder, but I finally just said, you know, rather than have to explain all of this, I'll just mark myself as as administrator, and then they don't have to figure it out. And uh, basically, I. What I put on the board, it doesn't, a lot of it does not come from my conscious mind. I just, if I've got a question to answer, I sit there and type it out and said, sort of later say, yeah, okay. And um, I, I'll, sometimes I may have to uh, wait until I've slept. And when I wake up, I'll have something to post. I know people uh, people see you as a mystic, uh, Ted, on, on the forum. So I'll see you on the, on the forum, hopefully.